potentially even raise. Yeah, I think I'm going to raise this one. Hopefully, you don't get too many raises against me. It would be kind of weird to raise. I don't think a7 wants to raise here. I think I'm going to raise. Alright, game on. Mr. Patrick Leonard. Let's get this going. This epic battle. We are live against Mr. Ben CB himself. And we have a very, very fun heads up match here. So we have three different missions we're trying to complete. One is to triple check his bluff. One is to five bet jam seven deuce off. And one is to successfully free X pop jam second pair or worse. So we're going to be playing relatively aggressive. Both players are going to be here having fun. We're not trying to play on the tight side. I also have my wheel for when we need that. Ben CB straight in with the free bets. We love to see it. We're going to be calling. Not the best board for our range. Um, I think this is a board where I'm going to start stabbing a bunch. I'm going to make them full King Jack offsuit kind of fans. We're going to call with two overs. Uh, this is nice. Play another table, Benjamin Roller. Yes, please. Uh, he checked calls to flop, and I've tried to make his own of folds already fold. Um, the turn is quite nice. It means that. Uh, it means that all of his backdoor plus draws have now missed. So I'm going to start with a, I'm going to double barrel here and hopefully I can get a bunch of hands to fold, get a fold. And we start off, we start off in a good way. Triple check raise bluff as a mission is on five bet seven dues off and get it through successfully three X pot value bet second pair of words. And when it gets through, you get rewarded 100 additional big blinds. So this is juicing up the action quite a bit. If a backdoor flush draw came in, then it means he would have, um, it means that he would have hit a hit a hand which he could continue with more often. Gonna open any jack. And this flop, I'll just go with a check call. I want to mostly check raise, but my hand doesn't have two great properties for that. Uh, nine four suited, we'll go for an open. So you can see here that I'm going for a 2.5x open and I'm gonna open around about 80% of hands probably. Um, gonna use a rabbit bunch. So we're gonna play for around about an hour. Um, get double barreled, I have ace high, but my kicker isn't too good. Like my four of hearts is not too good. I have loads of hands which can continue here, especially on the six of hearts. It's a bit of a weak flush draw. I actually, I don't like having the jack and clubs, it blocks his. Queen Jack clubs, Jack 10 club float, so probably this combo wants to check back. But I was not paying attention to that. Flop, we flop bottom pair, backdoor flush draw, backdoor double straight draw. He's going to have lots of check raises here, like King Jacks and King 8s and stuff like that. So I'm going to check back here, try to realize my equity. I think a lot of his King X would start betting, so I'm just going to go for turn bet. Jack 7 offs just a very bad hand. Turn I can definitely call. I have a straight draw, a flush draw, a pair. Um, so I'm definitely going to fold just yet. Interesting river, interesting river. Um, yeah, I want to be quite polarized here, so I'm just going to... Face a big bet on the river. Pocket tens. Do's not ideal. He has some 5-3 combos. Probably want to go for a call when I have two pair with a flush draw and if I don't have the flush draw I'm going to fold so I'm going to call this one and we got the call on the left side unlucky Mr. Patrick nice nice turn nice turn, turn a good, really good run out for, for our friend over in Austria may face a raise here oh yeah do we get a little payoff here from our boy do we get a little payoff wizard here oh tens we hate to see it Ben I don't think you can fold that. I'm gonna check this back. Ace two three, we'll just go with the bets. And we're gonna bet twice here with our six. I wouldn't bet a three or a four, so I'm gonna use a larger size in. The problem is the gut shot is not really clean. Um prefer having a seven. Um, but you're probably going to expect them to see mostly play call or fold, I guess. 10 free off, we're going to have as a fold. Sevens, we're going to have as a really small bet on this board. 
uh, just going really small, targeting the auto bolts, like 8-6 off, making him defend some hands, like 8-6 with a heart. Call. Suited, I would definitely 3-bet. Raise flop with Queen X very, very often. So I'm going to go for another bet. Um, I think this sizing kind of targets a hand like King-10 offsuit quite well. I think not flush draws would very often check back. Um, and it's just so easy to bluff this, over bluff this spot with a lot of garbage. I unblock the Queen X. Any Queen X that he slow played, I'm going to unblock. Uh, he's probably going to fold a lot of hands by this point anyway. So I think a really large bet makes sense in this format. He went for the almost three times over bet. Something we need to keep in mind that if we check it back or check it down, that sometimes we want to have hands that if it's checked to us on the river. King nine is going to be a check raise for value. Uh, I'm going to check raise my strongest nine X here for sure at full frequency. Um, you shouldn't have too many hands which you can value bet on this board. Like King X is going to bet the turn again. Ace X is obviously betting. Is he really betting a four? I don't think so. Face a large size, but I think my hand still wants to raise. Uh, face an over bet here. We could second pearl worse if we have. I think I'm gonna. Is he going for the check raise bluff? I'm gonna three bet him on the flop. I think it's a decent combo. Ben C B tanking. Am I gonna get flop three bet here? Surely not. Surely not Bensi. Surely not Bensi. Uh, I'm gonna go with the call. I would also three bet most of my over pairs, and he doesn't have a lot of. Um... Oh my god! Oh my god! What a turn! I mean, if we bet, we have to stack off. Oh my god! We got a seven deuce off, three bet five for Jeff. I'm sending it. I'm sending it. No! He walks me with a seven deuce off. Uh, if he jams, I'm gonna stack off. There's still some 7-8, seven, 7-6 seven, in space. Maybe flows with jack-10 in space on the flop. I'm gonna call again. He could also still have like queen-9 for value, king-9 for value, even like potentially jack-9, you know, thinking I have a worse 9 or whatever else. So I'm definitely gonna call the turn. I'm very protected. I would slow play my two pairs. I would have some straights. I'm gonna have some atrius falls. I'm gonna call the turn. Pull the river, that's gonna be fine. I'm gonna jam. I think he has a nine a lot of the times. I think he has a nine. <sighs> Check raises the flop. Ace three, ace four could be possible. We hope he is folding a nine. But the problem is, the, the, the problem I see is, do we jam tens now? Do we rep, do we three bit a lot of a six? Actually, Actually, I think I'm gonna give it up. Standard Ben CB, timing out everywhere. King four, look, give it to Papa. Give it to Papacito. We love to see it. Giving up Ben C, how are you giving up? Nah, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting hand. Two over cards, back to straight draw. Seems like a nice one for him to choose. But we take an early lead. We take an early lead. I'm gonna call the queen and just fold on the river. Oh, uh, I'm gonna check this river. All right, call that. Good bet. I get I get more rake back than you do, so we love to see that. I think we even take a lead that way. King nine offsuit, no backdoor flush draw. I'm guessing this is a fold. No action with the pocket tens. We're gonna go for a check call against his delayed on the turn. And river, I'm probably gonna be bluff catching. I think it's going to be a good one. I'm going to bet most of my air somewhere earlier, like a four, like jack four can bet and call a raise. Uh, he has a seven, which is a good call. Especially having a seven. <laughs> a little bit of back to equity with the eight, five. I'm just going to bet any four, seven, nine. It's good. Let me check it back. This could be the spot where I probably now go for three times over bet against the six. Pot size bet. Don't need to go too large. I should have the nuts there, but don't need to go too large. His bluff catching range is quite weak, so I don't need to target that with a super large size. And I can target like ace highs with this kind of size, and I think. 
get paid off again. This man is a payoff wizard. This guy is a payoff wizard. I'm gonna pot, pot, pot the value. Yeah, it's interesting to think about because I would be uh, 3x potting a lot with my value hands. Again, if it goes right, you get rewarded 100 big blinds. 10-9 uh, off, I think is a call here. Uh, pet board, we're gonna go for this size bet. Get a fold, which is good. Could even go slightly smaller as well, but it's fine. He walked me with a seven lose off. That, that's actually very painful. That is actually really painful that he walks me there with a with a three lose off. <laughs> he checks the turn. This is going to hit me. I have a lot of queen jacks, queen nines, which don't want to bet for the flop. So I'm going to go for a check back again. This river, I believe I'm very far down in my range now. Like eight, six is going to bet the flops. Like I can only bluff ace x. So I'm going to bluff my weakest ace x, which is going to be ace four, ace three, ace, ace five. Um, so yeah. I know we don't really have a check raise bluff anymore. I mean, unless he fought a better hand, right? Then it's a bluff. Then it's a bluff. I should probably... That's insane. Most likely check, check him back the river when I have spades, I think. But it's interesting. We'll see. Six river cards. Do we... Do we... He's not a folder, this guy. That's, that's the unfortunate thing. Bing, bing. Unless he has four or five. <laughs> oh my god. Pets is definitely, I think his turn sizing is pretty strong there. Jack five. No boards. He wouldn't have pulled that one. Top and bottom often acts as a good hand to slow play. When, when we, uh, when we, when we get all the money in we can get counterfeit on the jack or if we check raise a jack can come in out at the ev of our hand quickly decreases so when we have top pair and bottom pair we're just very often going to use this as a check call and trap down for free streets it gives the it gives our check call range a little bit of strength as well so he knows i'm gonna go for the i mean i don't have third pair but we have the second nuts here Hopefully he doesn't go like $400 or something. That'd probably be on the greedy side. Okay, this is this size we can potentially raise. This is the size. I think we can find a raise with this hand. I can imagine like Ace of Diamonds may go even bigger in this kind of dynamic. So I'm going to go for the raise on the river. Ah, Patrick, Patrick. Yeah, he has a lot of Ace of Dicks and Diamonds, but I'm very betting... Queen, uh, King X and Diamonds also a thing. We have third nuts, actually. We don't want to face a free bet all in, that's for sure. We face free bet all in, we hate life. He's not going to expect me to raise, like, the Queen of Diamonds here, so I think this is going to work out pretty well. Is there any mission alive? Turbo Checker is bluff? No. Why am I not rebuying? Top up. Top up, bro. Uh, he topped up. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna let him sit there as a 70 big blind specialist. Queen 10 off, we're gonna check fold. And queen eight with no back doors, we're gonna fold two. I know you probably wanna see the big blinds, but I, I like it uh, with the King seven, we're gonna go for a raise. And queen 10, we're gonna go for a raise. Just seeing if Ben messaged me. Oh my God, we're going for a check raise bluff here, a bit of spades. For me, I honestly, I think just completing a mission would be just, would mean so. But again, it's also board. He knows the mission is in play. We don't have king queens. We don't have queens. We don't have kings like. I don't think he's gonna be folding a lot then. Six three off, gonna go for fold. I believe there's some limp in as well. 
in like absolute theory that we'd have some limps, like very marginal limps as well, but I'm not going to do that for today's game. Queen nine off, could have some free bets, we're gonna mostly call. Six four suited, we're gonna go for free bets. Queen nine with a double gut shot and a well an open down straight draw and a spade. We're gonna go for an overbet. Uh this looks good. And we're gonna go for a huge river bet. I mean, now it doesn't really make any sense. We could decide to raise or to... I have to have a spade in my hand to do this. I mean, the problem is he's wrapping the... We could jam something like king seven, king 10 with king and spades. I think he's just very, very greedy here. It's also hard to have a lot of bluffs. We get it through. We love to see it. We love to see it. Um... I'm not sure if he perceives me as a calling station or as someone who is folding a lot in these spots. Kings, we're going to go for a four bet. He's not going to. He would not three bet fold here. I can guarantee that. Kings going to go for a small size and, and get some check raises against us. Could definitely have some bigger bets here as well. Um, I kind of like to get check raised too. And then we check raise the turn. And then we check raise bluff the river. <laughs> turn again, I'm quite polarized. So I'm going to use a large size. And he saw me lose, use a large size and after flop went check, check previously. I'm going to have six, nine, seven, nine, loads of hands, which can go into my uh, betting range here on turn. Kings and blocking king. Uh, him having a queen. He's going to free bet king queen 100% of the time pre flop. So it, when I have two kings, it's unlikely that he has a queen. He goes for a check raise, which is really bizarre. What the fuck is this? It's actually stupid because you can't triple check raise bluff, really. Actually, this mission is pretty dumb. I just realized. I'm going to just fold. Maybe that's an absolutely ridiculously bad fold, but it just seems, it screams out to me like 5 8, queen 5, queen 8. Like, I don't know, maybe he's bluffing like ace 4 suited or something like that. Get, I don't know, but I like, I like my fold. Gotta be confident with your folds. You gotta be confident with your folds. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to watch this video now. I'm absolutely petrified to see what the hell he had in that hand. We got the 3x pot second pair worse mission in play for the river. Nope. This would have been a great spot because he has a lot of weaker 5x, a lot of pocket threes. Some free betting with ace to ace strip. Thing is his fold to free bet's gonna be a lot lower than it potentially should be. So uh, I'm gonna play a little bit more passive. Good spot for us with backdoor plus draw, two backdoor straight draws. Uh, I'll see here, I'm gonna check it back. <clears throat> I'm gonna bet the turn here with seven. And on the ace river, I'm gonna go for a check raise. Do we wanna bluff? Like the problem is, I think his 6x would be bluffing. So if he has like queen six, so I don't think we have a lot of shoulder value here. So I'm gonna go for... Like he doesn't check back ace nine with the ace of clubs, ace jack with the ace of clubs. So check raise in here makes a lot of sense. He shouldn't have many non-flushes. And if he does, he's not gonna value bet like seven, eight here, I don't think. Well, he could do. But having a, a big raise size makes sense. He's gonna have a high club and have to call pretty often. Okay. Fold here. No, get a fold there. Get a fold here. Get a turn bet in. Get a river bet in from him, which is nice though. Uh, this board, I think I can just start. I maybe we'll have some bigger bets, but I think when it's ace, king, queen, this is okay. Kind of turns my hand face up a little bit when I do go for. I could just have some double delay bluffs like five of all suit two though. I think that's completely fine. Going to induce him to call with overcards, so maybe a smaller raise size, I believe. This is that we're going to go for a check raise. 
around about this size and now we call with two overs and they got shot to the nuts especially when he blasts something like jack three and then the six hits if he has a hand like ace jack it's tough for him to continue um jack deuce i don't think we can very bit this against a two and a half x i think queen four off we just forward Get three bets, we've been mining off. We're gonna just go for a fold mostly. Some calls. Uh, King six, we're gonna call. We'll check for some better hands or King six with a diamond maybe, but King six, no diamond, I'm gonna go for check call. We will go for a bet, not too big because we don't have many bluffs. And here we're going to check raise. So far, not that many big hands yet, Mr. Patrick Leonard. We're going to be playing most of our range that we continue with as a check raise here. Uh, we don't have many hands which want to check call, like a five wants to check raise, a six wants to check raise, seven, eight wants to check raise. We have aces here. We're going to continue going for the 10.5x size. In. Usually when he tanks a little longer, he's going for a three bet. Uh, now we get called, and I'm gonna go for a small size. You know, we're gonna run in. We're gonna run into a jack sometimes, so that's fine. Hmm, this could be interesting. This could be interesting. It really connects quite well with his three betting range. Um, and on the river, we're gonna shove. I mean, like I said, we're gonna run into a jack. That's fine. No problem but aces is going to be strong enough to jam here. I could have a hand like 10-8, 10-7. 10-9 possible. Yeah, but I don't think how we can forward there. We have some jack x ourselves and ace-10, but also we have all the king x, like we have king-5 that we play call, call, forward, river. Not sure if he's shoving aces. When I'm jamming this semi-thinly, you don't really... Well, he's using this time bank, he doesn't have much of it, so he shouldn't actually use much to slow roll probably um he must be on a random like seven eight and and, and seven eight in clubs nine in clubs he's kind of hands so he's shoving aces he calls king queen we love to see it good shove good shove we absolutely love to see it and you know if i did if i did go for a check call on the turn he may have some like it's hard to get called by worse when he bet bets i'm gonna have full houses straight aces stuff like that so uh yeah we're happy about this i bet the turn i king queen then straight trips bolts so just three bets it's a three bet hand just unlucky i lost you the king is fine to four bet it's too dangerous of a board to go for a check raise. I definitely want to take a step here on this board. Potentially triple barreling it. If the turn is a seven, a nine, a four, a queen, a king, an ace, it's go I'm, I'm going to have a very... I'm going to bet again for value, though. Potentially even raise. Yeah, I think I'm going to raise this one. I think I'm going to raise. Hopefully you don't get too many raises against me. It would be kind of weird to raise. I don't think ace seven wants to raise here. I don't think ace nine wants to raise. Maybe he thinks I always just use a bigger size with the nuts here. This is a double barrel. I'm going to fold my ace nine. I'll have loads of hands to continue here. Don't need to call this one, I don't think. Could get a raise. He may just be raising like ace five, ace six, ace three. Um, he may raise like ace king, ace queen, stuff like that as well. I'm at the bottom of my range. It's also most of our bluffs like 10-7 we would start betting the flop right so i think perceived it's also really hard to bluff this spot i think it's a good value bet as well obviously if i bet it i think it's good it doesn't mean it is good it just means i believe that the time it was good probably not the worst card to lead he still has a lot of air in his range like king five or queen jacks it's a good river card for me as well 
Okay, he checks. He should volley bet every seven, every eight, for sure. Ten deuce. That that's one which makes kind of sense. That I that I can lose to. Five six suited is gonna be a pure three bet here for me. Oh my god. Call the turn bet of the five deuce. Put three bet in first. I jam. We have four five bit jam. I'm at the bottom of my range, uh, so I think it's good to bet. I don't have many worse hands than a five here. I have to call this one here. Wait, I'm not sure if we have four bit jamming his life as well as seven loose off. Uh, just gonna have a message from Ben. Ben just confirming the rules. So it's only five bit jam. Lucky me. He's desperate. He's desperate. He's desperate to win one. Uh, nine ten off. Just gonna go for a call and some check raises here sometimes. On this board, I definitely want to be checking back. A decent amount of time as well, simply because we have. If there's another. Okay, and now, of course, especially considering that three eggs over pot second pair and worse. I mean, these missions are hard to complete. Get a call, which is nice, and he has. Let's have a look. Do we think he has? He has, he has a 9-2, so seems reasonable. <clears throat> ah, three. I don't think he's going to call a 7 free, free bet here. Um, King 8, obviously going to be calling. Some check raising with a backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. Uh, on this turn card, I'm going to go for a check, sometimes betting as well. This river card I'm going to check. He's going to bet his Jack X for us. Um, so yeah, the only hands I'd give value against would be a seven. But he's going to have some double delay bluffs like queen five suited or queen fours or ace twos or whatever. This is this size and he may be trying to induce. I think Pets is going to raise a king very large here. Us wrapping a 10 for the most part. Yep. And we also get additional money from bluffs, so... I think you should maybe consider going for a free bet. Uh, maybe not, though. 9-3, I'm going to go for a small bet on this paired board. King-7, I'm going to start with a bigger bet here. Make it tougher for him to continue the hand like Queen-10 or Jack-10, one of these kind of hands. Turn a 10, it also clears my arts. Maybe I get some hands to fold, like king eights. Um I'm going to check back here. I can beat some hands. Seven's quite good. I still beat four, still beat a three, I beat seven, five, I beat seven, six. Face a big bet here, we're gonna put a raisin with our two pair. I'm gonna three bet again. Similar spot we had earlier, we're at the king nine. So I'm gonna put this bet in. He should bet and he should check raise a nine on the flop very often. He free bets the flop here. I'm gonna go for a click back with two pair. Unblock any over pairs. I think the five in diamonds is pretty irrelevant. Probably going to be bluffing the non-diamond combos. Oh, nice bet. And we call on the top right. And I'm definitely going to go broke with an overpair on this board. I'm going to check the turn here, like a give up kind of hand, and then jam the river. I allow him to maybe have queen jack and hit a queen or hit a jack or if he has ace 10 or something this is a turn bet we're going to ship all in if we're bt here i mean it's a fucking ridiculous cooler um you should never have king four king five king nine so i'm definitely gonna go for a shove pretty good way very bad there with the king seven. Oh my fucking god i mean earlier I'm, i might fold actually earlier he just Earlier, he just 
called his week nine. I mean, is he really jamming like a six five six seven? He got a fault. Okay, we love to see it. I'm not sure what he had there. Maybe jacks or something. Queen eight off. I would defend queen nine off. Yeah, I think queen nine off is to lose. Very int very curious what he had there. Be good board to bet big on. I will play turn. It allows me to play turns as shoves as well. Like if the turn opens up a flush draw, I can play my flush draws as shoves, my own pairs as shoves, stuff like that. Face of check raise here, we're gonna just let it go. We have 25 minutes left. Let's hope Ben CB doesn't get too desperate. Stop chasing the losses. Uh it can turn so quickly and heads up, of course. A3 off, we just call, no need to go fancy. I think we can do so many different things. I may just bet Ace Jack on the turn for some protection or something like that, or start bluffing for a small size. And he has a lot of Ace X, which goes into trap call, I guess. But our hand should be good most of the time here. I'm going to put a value bet in here. A better 10 is going to bet the turn pretty often. So I'm going to go for value bets. Why don't we check race here on the ace three? King Jack should free bet pre flop or check race turn or do whatever. So this is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm going to just fold. Seems like a weird line. I'm going to fold. I don't want to get check raised here, but we're going to use this little bad boy. And we're going to go for a check. Pretty dry run out. I'm gonna just check it back here. Probably don't have too much fold equity. King Queen of Clubs. Okay, well, I feel like I lost the minimum there. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. I throw him a congratulations. Turn here with a pair and a straight draw. My hand's high equity. I'm gonna go put it into a bet. Oh, the jack would have been so devastating. I think my five should be pretty good. He's gonna have a lot of 3x, 2x, or ace x. Could face a raise. We do face a raise. We have an okay hand to call. We block ace four. I think I'm gonna call this sort of four x and six x. We get the call though, so we love to see that. We're gonna fold this offsuit ace x. Could fold better at some frequency too, but we're gonna fold it. He walks my seven deuce off and he walks my aces. That is insane. That is insane. Basically, both nuts. He walked. And over bet the river. Uh, I mi I've missed some hands like 10-9, which went for a turn check raise. My hand should be the nuts at this point. Going for 2x pot, my hand feels like it's worth that strong. Turn, we're going to blast. He's going to connect here very heavily. I think my turn betting range often wants to be like 120% pot even bigger, so I'm going to use a really large size, and he's going to still call with the queen. Not the greatest spot. Nine, nine of clubs, is, like his most natural bluffs are going to be jack nine, nine eight, king nine. I prefer having a diamond because he's not bluffing with diamond. Yeah, I think we can forward. Like it's so much better to call, let's say with queen four, queen five. Uh, all these kind of hands. I think queen nine, queen eight are pretty bad bluff catchers. <clears throat> and to play is a bet. It seems somewhat thinnish, but I think it's fine. This is not. He's not blu um, bluffing with busted flush draws. So check the flop with jack and flush draw. It's interesting. Queen four of diamonds. I believe we go for a call. Could also fold the sand versus a free bet, I think, but you know, I don't, I'm not following charts or wanting to follow charts. So if I have like a hand which is quite pretty, I'll call sometimes, I'll fold sometimes. I'm not trying to be 100% accurate. King fold clubs, I'm going to go for a check raise, most likely, and force some money in. Or do I go for a check call and then get raises in later? 
If I have bear king of clubs, I'm going to play it somewhat aggressively. Just fold out, you know, queen nines and stuff like that. Um, sun's going to be fold. Yeah, I think I'll fold. We can already be drawing that. Has terrible reversed in play dots. Definitely want to be, don't want to be defending that hand. King eight, I'm going to have, is it check back and have some check backs? And turn, I will call. And I'm going to check again. River's really bad. I have a lot of 10x though, like Jack 10, 10 8. I'm with 10 7, 10 8. I think it's a bit of a random bet, but I think he doesn't have a lot of 10x unless he has like 10 7 kind of stuff. So. Um, but most of his 10x would start bluffing at some point, I believe. And if we spike the 9, he's going to have a hard time. Uh, some check raises versus a small size. Uh, versus this, we're going to go for a bet. Half pot puts pressure on king queen already. So I'm going to do the half pot. And then on the river, I'm also going to value bet. I have a lot of potential bluffs here. And we're definitely going to raise the river with two pair. Unless, uh, even against a big sizing. I think any seven, eight, and eight choose that sizing. I'm going to be betting somewhat thinly-ish. So I'm going to use not a massive, massive size. I am using a big-ish size in here. Hopefully we don't get a raise. He likes to find some bluff raises sometimes, more than other players, potentially. We do find a raise. Block 9-6, which could have checked back sometimes. We block like 7-5 and 7-3, uh, which is something. Hmm. We don't block like any... Well, we do block a 9, right? A 9's not good to have. I think I would call if I had... Well, then we block 9-6 too, so it's kind of an interesting one. I think we just want to fold this one. I have a lot of hands which can call... But he's probably bluffing me, but we'll let this one go. Send him a congratulations. Yeah, 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 Mr. Sunrunner. <laughs> Get call, we're going to use a small bet. Could go even smaller, potentially. And we'll play turns, check call some turns. King of Diamonds is interesting. We'll check the turn. We'll have some check raised, check shoves here, potentially, with some hands. River, I believe we don't want to shove. We just beat enough hands. Like, we beat Queen Jack, we beat Queen 10, we block some plushes. So, yeah, we beat by King Queen, but that's fine. He doesn't bluff that. So, I'm betting on the pad boards. Just easy fold versus a raise. No bluff. I can beat enough hands there. Like, I just beat Queen Jack suited, and yeah. He said he's not folding King Queen, so it's good that I would probably give up this one. He blocks Kings and Queens as well. I think it definitely has some value to check back these hands because now on the river we can go for the 3x over bet and hope to get caught by 6 or um, 4. See on his size, and he bets very big. Uh, I can just let it go. No, no, the mission was live. <laughs> oh, damn it. And then bet the river when check two, on, when it goes check, check on the turn versus the other bet we fold. Uh, we're slowly grinding all the way back, but it's definitely going to be a lot of time where we just dealt pretty bad hands, like seven deuce. Okay, so. Yeah, I, I I will open it for the content, sure. <laughs> we'll open it for the content, we get it through. Oh, can I show? I wanted to show. Very interesting hand. And check all on the flop. We're gonna see some big bets on this board, like some three quarter pot bets. See a check back. Um, which we're somewhat concerned about. Screams of like King X pretty often. River, we're gonna check as well. Tried to get a double delay bluff, like seven, eight offsuit to go for a bluff and we will call. Ah, we have to try it. We have to try it. I mean, we invest $130 to potentially win one grand, right? Like some thin... Oh, we actually have... We actually have a... We actually have this thing where you successfully 3x pot jam second pair. 
So he free x pots here. So this is like some sick dynamic. So like if I call here and I'm wrong and he has a king, then I lose an extra stack. So I think I have to fold this, but then he could be using that as a meta. He could be using that as a meta too. So I'm gonna have to fold. <laughs> it's really, if you have a knight in there and you're wrong, you're not only losing those 130 bucks, but you're also losing one grand. <laughs> Check call here. I think my hand's a bit too weak. Don't want to force too much money in. On the turn, I'm going to start with a big bet. This is going to be in his... Actually, interesting. He's not going to have 7 loose off on his board, but... I'm going to go for a bigger sizing. Uh, we block a lot of ace-5, king-5, as well as forcing him to... Yeah, basically, I kind of sucks you on the left. River would be a seven, which would have been a check raise for us, I think. He he would on the river card. He would he would if the river was a seven, he would bluff his three x. So if he has five three, he would have to bluff three x. If he has a seven, he's going to bet. So I get check raises in against value, and I get him to bluff. So it would be a really good river card to go over a check raise. Balls here, we're going to go for a smidgen of free betting, just small frequency, but we rolled it this time. I would call it 3-4 suited, but those three is a bit too out of line. <clears throat> um, 6-3, I'm going to go for a big bet, call a raise. A6, I'm going to go for a big turn bet, big river bet probably, on a blank, like a 7, an 8, a 9, a 4, potentially a 2, potentially. So this is interesting. Nines are going to go for a free bet. I'm not going to play like a knit and just lock it up, obviously. I'm still going to free bet my pocket fours and anything which is, if I roll the frequency, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to just try to play good poker. Um, maybe he will stop being a bit more aggressive. And I would peel the four bet. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. He's going to have 10x of clubs, 5x of clubs. He's going to have jack 10, queen 10. Oh, we call here, hope for a club. Terrible turn. The hands which I was going to get value from on the river, on the turn, like 10x of clubs and 5x of clubs, they're now straight. Queen 10 is now straight. So I'm going to go for a check back and probably lose. Yeah, that's exactly the hand that I was potting against. So. I think he could maybe have some leads on that river when his range is so flush heavy and I'm going to check back a bunch of flushes. Um, on this river card, I don't want to use a small size in for value. So I'm going to go for a big size in. Um, <clears throat> we want to be bluffing with anything that blocks a decent queen, queen jack, queen ten, probably king. I think bluffing ace king here is Probably pretty good. I don't need to worry too much. And I can just call when I have queen 10 or queen jack instead of king queen. Face a bet here with sevens, we're going to call once. What's he doing with his king 10s? So they probably start bluffing on turns. So, uh, it's such a fucked up spot. Yeah, we go three streets for value. Over here, we face a double barrel, which is going to fold. Seven on the river. Okay. Here, with not much going on, we're going to go for a check fold. Low card, low card. Well, that's bad. <clears throat> Five free suited, we're going to go for a raise. I'll call a free bet, probably. It's low suited hands, we'd like to see it. The Daniel Negreanu. Uh, ace eight off is not really a strong hand to free bet. I'm just going to have this as a call, I think. Again, I'm not following charts, so if it's like a 20% free bet, then sure, you know, like, congratulations. Don't beat on my balls in the chat box too much. Good turn card for us. He's going to bet worse for value twice, so we can't fold. And if this is a check, we're going to bet ourselves twice for a large size and. I'm not going to want to use a small size and in position on this kind of board texture, I don't believe. Well, 
Not sure how good this card is. Lose to a flush. Oh, what a river! Uh, turn here, we're going to go for a bet. And we will bet some rivers. But having a diamond isn't too great, but it's not too bad. Not having a queen or a king is quite good for us. We have so many bluffs here, though. We have to be careful. So we do want to bluff when we have a diamond in our hand, but I think we don't want to have a 10. So I would just bluff 6-7 with a diamond or whatever. I think this hand I'm going to make a give up. It's not bluffing. What is going on? You nit. Disgusting. Disgusting. Let's keep going. We have eight minutes remaining. Oh, you wanted to go for the check raise. Uh, here we can check race bluff. <laughs> Give Ben a try to justify my play to my hero. On Jack Nine, we can also bluff here on the King King Seven. Some really good backdoors as well. I would call 10-9, like two overcards. He's going to raise 7x pretty aggressively, so I can call two overcards to the 7, so. Don't need to make it too big. <clears throat> Just attacking his auto forwards. Chuck raise a flop with a really strong flush draw. Loads of hands can continue, like 9-10 of diamonds. Queen, sorry, 9-10 offsuit, queen uh, king turns, all these kind of stuff. So I'm going to go for a check raise. Oha! Uh -huh. I think not too much small betting going on here. Check two off, we're going to find a fold. Queen is not too great for us. He's going to have Queen X of clubs, Queen X of parts. He's not going to, he's going to think we have a lot of bluffs, like 9, 10, 6, 7, so. He definitely has Jack 10, 10, 9 very frequently in his 3 winning range, I believe. He's going to have King Jack suited, stuff like that, so. Uh, top and bottom, I'm going to just slow play, like I spoke about previously. He can value bet worse for free streets, so I'm going to just call, call, call. I can get some raises in on some rivers. That's a great river. <clears throat> if he bets, I would have jammed, because we block aces, we block ace-queen. He's going to bet a queen on the turn very often, so... Um... Let me check here. He he can over, he can represent a seven here pretty pretty well. Turn in a seven and then check him back. He's gonna go for like a two x pot river bet here very often. His value bet range on the river is seven x and air, so it make, makes sense to go for a big size. And I want to unblock his air, and this ten five is my perfect bluff catcher. No, no, I wanted to die. The time bank. Ah, oh, that's tilting. And I beat the king too. So yeah, a lot of people may go for a value bet on the river here, but we want to let him bluff. So when we have the counterfeited two pair, and this is also one of the reasons, this is one of the reasons why we just check call the flop, because when we do have top and bottom, it turns from a really strong hand to a very weak hand really quickly. So because of that, it makes sense for us to want to just call a flop slow play, and then on the river use our hand as a check call, because he's a, it's, it's important to identify that he's going to use a very large sizing on this river, because He's representing uh, trips or air. So when he's representing trips or air, he definitely wants to use a large, large size in. Pocket eight's going to go into a free bet here. I think king nine we have to call. What is? What was he three betting so far? Was he ever three betting like a real bluff? Now he goes more almost five times. So it looks a bit smelly. Here, our hand's too weak to value bet, too strong to bluff. Ace check off. We're going to go for check back. He's going to have, he should have value bet seven here for sure. On the turn, turn is a clear value bet as well, I think. Uh, I'm going to check back here. We're going to face a lot of check raises on this board texture, I think. So oh, it's important. It's It makes sense to have some check backs. This is a hand which falls quite nicely into not wanting to get check raised.
I think I missed a very bit there. Great sizing on the turn. It's pretty good. Queen eight off, we're gonna call and king eight, king nine, we're gonna check call. But king eight, we would definitely check call, of course. We have three minutes remaining. Let's spend CB saying nothing. Okay. Dietrich fast here. The sick brags I have. The six sick brags I have. Oh, like five three or four seven, something like that. We could check back. Bet check fold pretty often. Yeah, on this river card, I'm just going to bluff for a pot size bet. It's not great to have a diamond, but it doesn't matter too much. Checking back ace queen over here makes sense too. <clears throat> gonna go for a checkers on the turn. I would value bet like ace eight and ace six and stuff with this size, and I would even value bet potentially a seven. Probably not. I'm gonna fold. Check back over here, and I'm gonna fold the river, I think. Hmm. Face a big bet, which is easy fold. Gonna keep playing playing as fast as possible to get as many hands in so nothing gets suggested. And gonna keep playing check, 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 check here with nothing going on. Uh King River, I would like to have a diamond in my hand to bluff. Jack Blue with a diamond could choose as a bluff. He has eight five, which seems like a reasonable hand to have. Queen 10, we're going to continue this as a free bet. No full button with the sound, I don't think. We flop really well. He should use really large sizes here, I think. I'm going to bet turn, shove river of the spades brick, of the hearts brick. It's probably better to have the spades now. Um, because we block some floats that he's folding with king queen king jack and diamonds uh, good luck us <sighs> actually spay hearts 10 nine hearts track nine hearts I mean, I would jam queens, jacks, tens here for value on the river. I, we have the king x, king ten, king drag. Jack tens got there. Oh. He goes all in, and he if he's bluffing, he's bluffing with a better hand, like queen jack or ace five or something. So, gonna just fold. And here I have a double gut shot, so I'm gonna type in last two hands. Two had two hands, both tables. I think I think he's using smaller sizings for his draws. Um, this board thinks some check calls make sense for me. If I improve to an ace or a king, it means that uh, if I improve to an ace or a king, I'm going to hit a heart, which has got some reverse implied odds. So I'm going to just go for a call. Four's not bad. I'm going to call again. I will call again on the turn here with ace king. Oh, it's a big size in, but we're not going to fold ace king here. Over here, we're going to keep calling. This river's good for us. Oh shit! I misclicked the river. I misclicked the river. Uh, we have the queen and heart. It's just such a t would be such a terrible jam. And we misclicked the river. He's gonna think I'm doing some stupid induce or like betting like six seven or something like this. Oh my god, we get the bull! We get the bull! What a way to end it! What a way to fucking end it here! Oh my god! What a way to end it! That's insanity! I misclick the river. I don't know to be honest. How do I misclick the river there? It's always the last time of the match. I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. It's just, you, you'll see back, it's so natural if you rewind. Fucking hell, man. Christ almighty. Maybe it's GTO. I'm going to induce a bluff here from 
10 5 of diamonds, which went for a double delay bet. Maybe he calls an ace high. Do we find out where he is? He shouldn't have a jack. He shouldn't have a jack. I'm going to just call. Ace high, value bet, interesting. Uh, is it all? Yeah, I think this is supposed to be bluff here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Jack Four probably will bluff like four or five kind of stuff. I'm blocking Queen I Jack. Actually, I think it's good to give this one up and yeah, bluff everything that unblocks Queens, Jacks, unblocks Queen highs, Jack highs. Guys, that was a fun match. I can't believe I folded the Kings. Look at these rosy reds. I am buzzing, buzzing to win the Hedge of Feud match. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely fun battle with pets, and more to come in the future for sure.